Hello everyone, in this lesson we're going to be doing a Newton second law but in a vertical direction. Okay, so it gets a little bit more interesting in this question because in the previous lesson we moved in a horizontal direction. So typically things like gravity, you don't take them into your calculation. But now that we're moving in a vertical direction, we have to keep gravity in mind. So, and how do we know what formula to use? Well, the things we've got to look out for are things such as velocity, velocity, as well as time. So, when they start giving you things like that, and by the way, the question's asking about force, so then we typically want to use F net equals to the change in momentum over change in time. You always want to choose a direction when using that formula. So, here let's just choose up as positive. Why? Just because you can choose down if you want, you will get the same answer. The first question says, determine the net force acting on the gymnast. Okay, well that's nice because here we've got F net, that's what we want. And so let's just quickly draw a diagram just so we're all on the same page. And so here we've got this gymnast that is initially going to be moving downwards. They tell us at 5 meters per second. They're then going to bounce back up at 4 meters per second. And the gymnast is 50 kilograms. So, when we use F net equals to change in momentum, we know that change in momentum is the same as MV, because that's momentum, and then we're going to have final minus initial over the change in time. Now you simply fill things in. So the mass is 50, the final velocity is 4, and it's positive. Why? Because it's going up, and we chose up as positive. Then we say minus 50 now the initial velocity is 5, but going downwards, so you're going to have to put a negative 5 over there. And then the time is 0 0.4 seconds. You can then go type all of that on the calculator, and your F net is equal to 1,125 newtons. And because we're getting a positive answer, and we chose up as positive, we can say up. Now that makes sense. You've got a person who was initially going downwards, and then after it hits the trampoline, all of a sudden that person's moving upwards. Well, that obviously means that the trampoline had to exert a force upwards in order to cause that person to change their direction from downwards to upwards. So that is F net. Now remember, F net is like the overall force. Because in question B, they say determine the force of the trampoline on the gymnast. Now many students are like, um, Kevin, you're asking us the same question here. No guys, it's actually different. Because we're moving in a vertical direction, we have to be careful. At the point when that person is busy hitting the trampoline, what forces are acting on that person? Well, of course, there's the force of the trampoline, which I'll call F trampoline. But because we are in a vertical direction, there's also F gravity. Now the combination of those two gives us 1125, because one, the F net is your combination, what's your overall effect. And so we know that F net, if we choose upwards as positive, is going to be equal to F trampoline minus, or you could say, some teachers are very strict, you could say plus and then say minus F gravity. Okay. Why did I minus gravity? Because gravity is acting down and I've chosen upwards as positive. Now we know that F net is equal to 1125. F trampoline, we don't know what that is, but we are going to calculate that. And then we're going to say plus, and then in brackets, I'm just going to add it at the bottom here, minus. Now gravity is equal to mass times by 9.8. And so if we had to say 1125, I'm just going to call it F tramp like that and then minus 490. That's what 50 times 9.8 is. You then take the 490 over to the other side, and so the trampoline force is going to be equal to 1,615 newtons. You see, so the trampoline exerts an upwards force of 1,615, but the gravitational force is 490, trying to keep the gymnast on the ground, and so the overall effect is 1,125 newtons upwards. So in summary, when you see velocities and time, you want to use this formula that we've been using in this question or in this lesson. If you are moving in a horizontal direction, then gravity doesn't need to be taken into account. But if you're in a vertical direction, then always remember to take gravity into account. When you're using the formula F net equals to change in P over change in T, that F net is the overall. That's what F net means. If you want to find gravity, then you have to go a little bit further.